I was studying the scriptures earlier this week and I came to a verse, Luke chapter 9, verse 62. I stopped on that verse for a minute and pondered why I know for myself that that verse is true. Now, I'm not telling you what verse that is because I want you to catch up with me in a moment. Just reflecting back now, I started working for wages in the summer haying crew when I was about six or seven years of age driving a Ford Ferguson tractor. And that work continued all the way forward into the time I was 18 and even beyond. To this day, I still have vivid memories of how much fun that was working in the hayfields. I got to drive the tractors and I loved that. Now, the thing that's puzzling about that work is, well, I was just a little feller, not very big, which makes it all the more puzzling why I was always the one assigned to work on the haystacking crew. Now, those bales, well, they weren't the big, huge ton bales. They were just little bales, but little is comparative. It's relative. Some of those hay bales I used to stack weighed as much as I did, and sometimes maybe more. And it was my job, the little guy, to stack hay. I'm telling you, over the years, I got pretty good at making a haystack that wouldn't fall down in the wintertime. And at one point, I even hired out as a contractor to stack hay for the local ranchers. Now, the thing that was puzzling to me then and now is the bosses would never let me do any of the easier stuff, like run the mowers or run the baler. There I was, always up on top of the stack, sweating out myself in the summer heat stacking hay. I do remember one time, though, after the haying season was over, I set out to plow the field. The equipment, it was a four-bottom plow that could be rotated. So there I was, I'm gonna plow this field. I climbed up on the tractor, I dropped the plow, and down through the field I went. Now, I was so fascinated watching that plow work its magic in the soil that I failed to notice two very important things going all wrong. The first, I had flipped the plow the wrong way. And instead of plowing a furrow down through the field, I plowed a ditch. The second problem with what I was doing, well, that became evident at the other end of the field. I had been so fascinated watching the plow work that I had gone all the way down to the end of the field looking back over my shoulder, watching that plow work. When I got to the other end and turned around, can you guess what that furrow looked like? It looked like that furrow just meandered down through the field like the path of an old river or like a drunken skunk wandering looking for something to eat. It was terrible. Now, <laughs> the point. What was that verse I was looking at? Luke 9.62. No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. That message to me was very clear. How in the world can you and I walk the straight and narrow path that lies in a straight course before us if we're constantly looking back over our shoulder, yearning for the life we left behind. What did I learn again? The past is past. Can't change it, only learn from it. The Lord of the harvest is out in front beckoning, asking for our help in the fields. He needs us, you know? Of all the ranchers I ever worked for over my career, I want to go forward working for the Lord in the harvest all the rest of my days.